to show you guys how to do a full brake job. It's going to be pulling the hubs with seals, checking the bearings, putting them all back together. But I also have to do a few other things. I have to um, change an air chamber. I need to change this. The slack adjuster. This is what you use to uh, take the slack out of the brakes when they start to wear. And I can take this push rod here and pull it in and out with the air on like it's, it's busted. So this is going to get an air chamber up there with those two hoses going to it. New slack adjusters both on the back because I can reach them. And this one's tight and like locked up. But all the shoes look like that. Less than a quarter inch like all the way around. Except for this one because it's not working. So um, the brake job part may be, be DIY. We'll see. This just Today I'm not going to get this done. I'm going to um, get all the parts and everything. And I take a slack adjuster to the parts house and make sure it's there. Plus the trailer's loaded. I need to get it away from the dock. And they're unloading it now, but I ain't trying to wait all day for that. So, we'll see. I forgot my tripod. Okay, first thing you want to do is take this off. I got the truck cranked up and air on back here. That's the first thing. Then you want to take this off. It goes right on there. It's a snap ring. Wow. Anyway, that's how it is. And then you want to get these out. And I've straightened them. And you just want to push them out of here and grab them with a vice grip, maybe tap them out with a hammer, or whatever, get these out so that we can get the pins out. Lucky nothing's frozen up on it. Like that. Like that. Hopefully they come out. If they don't, if they don't come out easily, might have to cut them or burn them. That's gonna come. Or you can adjust the brake and loosen it up a little bit. Boy, this is just by hand. How lucky am I getting? Uh -oh. Hmm, how do I do this? I'm trying to stab it out of there. This right here stops it from backing off. So you can take this out. It's supposed to stop it from backing off. This is where this one's bad. Whatever's in here is not working correctly and it's allowing this brake to back itself off. These are automatic slacks. They should um, adjust themselves tighter and tighter as you go. Right, let me show you this. This is how you turn them manually. And I'm just gonna turn it to get it out of this clevis whichever way it wants to go best. This is a size adjustable wrench. <laughs> I've never known, I think an 11 actually works on a box inside really well. I think, I've never known. I just always grab this adjustable because it fits them both, you know. Probably should have turned it the other way, we'll see. Right now the shoes are coming off the drone, see? It turns the S cam. Here it comes. See, so watch. See it coming out. Now the next, the the the, the craziest part is these things getting seized on right in here. Sometimes you got to burn this stuff off here. Come on, pray a little bit before you try. Alright, it's going. Man, this thing is just being nice to me. Let's go get him a new one. Man, I am really getting lucky with these videos showing you guys how to do this stuff because most of the time these things are just terrible. I am probably going to have to cut this off. I might be able to get it out. 2 15 16 up here. That one and that nut. And this whole air chamber comes out now. And you got to get these lines off. Hopefully we won't have to cut them. Or cut one, because the other one you can get out by spinning the chamber off the line. I'll show you if I uh, have any problems. But I'm just really, today, going to go get this part and make sure they've got this one. they got to count the teeth in there and make sure it exactly fits this. And see how solid that is on this end? Like that other one I did, I did another job in a previous video where these were all worn out real bad. These cams, I had to replace those. I still got to take the wheels off and everything and get these shoes out of here, but... 
I don't want to have to dig these cams out, work all these bolts. So that's going to be it. That's a five minute chunk of time right there. All right. I'm going to get this uh, chamber out of here. Center chamber. 15 16 is under here. First, get these lines off. You can uh, discharge all the air by twisting this pet cock right here. But I like to live dangerous, so I'm going to get my eyes blasted. These are seven eighths, and they should swivel. Getting pretty lucky here today with uh, this stuff not being stuck. There's that one. There's two of them. And it's stuck. There it goes. Lunch, Jimmy. <laughs> All right. Then let's get these two bolts out of here. I'm trying to go fast. I don't want to burn up all my minutes. YouTube only gives me 15 minutes. turn the air on but you almost saw me take an air chamber out in less than five minutes same with the slack adjuster you doing good man you're learning all right I got both bolts out hopefully that'll fit through there ha ah, well Give me a couple hours, I'll disassemble this whole trailer. <laughs> Be back in a second. What you want to do is measure this one, eight and a half, and move your jam nut to eight and a half here, so it's the same. It's also a chase nut. You go like this. <laughs> Get it out of the way, and then cut it. Let me get my glasses. Let's see if I have any better luck on this side. These pins were being a nightmare over there. They weren't being a nightmare coming off though. Come on, Jerry, don't take forever now. Uh, 
that's it. I'm gonna put both of these in and bend them. And I'm gonna leave the brakes, I'm gonna put this uh, Carter, this uh, snap ring on too, but I'm gonna leave the brakes backed off like this because I need to do a brake job next. So I'm not gonna adjust this. But I'll show you that, how to adjust them when I do the brake job. But that's gonna be it for this one. I'm running out of time here. Uh, please subscribe and maybe I'll have help with brakes. We'll see.